Hello everyone and welcome to another locations guide. My name is Glossal Kiwi and today we will be focusing on the lost stories. And as always there will be a timestamp in the description available for each individual collectible. So if you're looking for a particular lost story, then go ahead click the timestamp and it will take you to that part of the video. First up is the Scratch Crown Bobblehead. So just after you take the rope down to the marina, go through this shed like area, past this crate and it will be hiding in this corner. Shortly after that you'll find yourself in an office area, so as soon as you get downstairs, head to your left, go through this corridor, up the stairs into this little office room and you'll find the Geofarm board photo. Soon after that you'll get your first melee weapon and Devon will ask you to break into an abandoned shack for him. And instead of going into the abandoned shack, first break the barricade next to it, climb down with some rope and you'll find the keychain with coins. Later on when you're heading towards the airfield you'll come across this area in the Geofarm complex. Make sure you clear the area of all zombies and head over to this car to pick up the scientist's diploma. But don't leave just yet because the researcher's ID card is just around the corner from here so make sure you pick that up as well. Later in the staff village you'll find yourself in an area where there is a spitter on the balcony and a ladder to that balcony which is surrounded by electricity. Make sure you turn off the electricity, climb up the ladder, kill the spitter if you haven't already, go into this room and the secret camera is just on top of this set of drawers. The next lost story is the passport. So after you finish in the staff village you get told that one of the key guards is in the airfield hangar. Make your way to the airfield hangar and the passport can be found just up here on top of the boxes. The next lost story can be found in the Geofarm Labs. Eventually in the Geofarm Labs, you'll find yourself in a room with a butcher. Take care of the butcher and head into the next room, which is a long corridor. Now if you look up, you'll see the words for sound effects, which is actually a walker in the ceiling above you. So if you walk towards the end of the corridor, the walker will follow you and then fall through the ceiling, uh, and from there you can kill him and take the keycard. Once you get the keycard, backtrack to this room over here and open the door to this room, where you'll get the Newton's Cradle. Later on in the story, you'll receive the Lever X upgrade from the warehouse, which lets you break into barricaded doors. Once you have this upgrade, head back through the tunnels that lead to the helipad, climb up this ladder, and to your right you'll find this barricaded door. Simply use the Lever X to get into the door, and you will find the Survivor Escape Plan inside. After that, head back through the tunnels that lead to the villa until you find this barricaded door. Once you break into this barricaded door with the liver axe, you will find the patient's beer. Next up are the security dog tags. During mission 10, when you're asked to enter the actual villa, don't enter it yet. Instead, go around this side of the building towards the swimming pool and you will find the security dog tags there. Finally, once you enter the actual villa, you'll find yourself in this corridor just before a large staircase. Turn to your left to head into this room, and Aaron Wells' watch can be found just in this corner. 